Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA18C and we're looking at the AGM 84D Harpoons. We've already been over the first mode, BOL mode, but now we've had the first functionality added for the range bearing launch mode, which is the second of the two modes. Now range bearing launch mode is designed to be used with the C radar, but that's currently not available, but we can still use it without the radar and we can actually use it usefully. There are two methods we've got of targeting with range bearing launch at the moment. The first is using a waypoint. So the whole idea of using this method is that we put a point there out in space. We see where the bad guys are, usually with our sea radar, but in this case it's going to be with our T-pod. And then we're going to place a waypoint at that target. And that waypoint is going to basically designate where that harpoon is going to fly to and search for targets. The second way is that we can designate a target point directly from our T-pod. So it's pretty similar, except instead of using a waypoint, we're using a target point. So first of all, we're going to do the waypoint method. And there's what, two ways of doing this. We can put a waypoint in at the ships on the mission editor, and we can waypoint designate through the HSI here. Or we can create our own new waypoint through the USC, if we like, from the cockpit. In this case, just to make it quick and simple, we've put a waypoint in in the mission editor. Now it's prudent. When you put that waypoint in, don't put it on the ships put it about two miles behind the ships the reason is we believe that this waypoint that you're putting in or the target point is not the point where it expects to see the ships but it's actually the self-destruct point so it will travel it will search and travel to that point and no further that may change in the future but at the moment mid-october 2019 that's what that point means so i've put that point around here a mile and a half two miles past these guys in the mission editor otherwise let's get on with it super easy to do bad guys are already on our nose I'm going to get my autopilot on, master arm on, air to ground. I must say thank you for Isotan, one of our viewers, very nice viewers, who's researched this for us, basically, told us how to do it, which is... Harpoon on, wait the 25 seconds for, for it to line. Next, we're going to go down to our HSI. We're going to go to a waypoint one. We're going to go to waypoint on. We're going to sequence it just for fun. And we're going to say waypoint designate. That's that done. Next, we're going to adjust, and you can see our target point there. And we're aligned. Mode. We do not want BOL. We want range bearing launch mode. Flight is the same as in BOL. So just for, you can choose any of these, but I'm just going to go low. Low just seems to work best with range bearing launch at the moment. Terminal. We can do pop up or skim, as you know. It's the same as previously, but we're going to go for pop up today. Seek is new and specific to range bearing launch. It determines the amount of kilometers before the suspected target point, or that target point there, when it starts looking for the targets. We can have medium, that's 20 kilometers. Large, 30 kilometers. Small, 10 kilometers. So we're just going to go on medium, and you can change that as you see necessary. You can step between your hard points here, and we've got our turning point there if necessary. What we can say is that it knows where the target is, so it can tell us that it is in range. We've got it ready to select. It's 18 kilometers away, sorry, 18 nautical miles away. And that's it. We're going to weapon release and fire. I'm now going to put myself into a right orbit. And we'll go and watch that missile. So it's going to go down to the 5,000 feet, as we know, from the BOL mode. Pretty much within 20 kilometers of our point now. So I suspect it's going to start looking for targets about now, as specified. Okay, it's seen the targets. A little later than usual, but it's seen them. And it's going to go for that one there. Really? Haha, <laughs> they all went for the same one. That's pretty sweet. So all four missiles went for the same one. Go away, phone call. So that's showing how to use it with the waypoint designation. The so next we'll do the second method, which is via the uh, targeting pod so ensure that the flur is on where is it there i'm going to select our flur here main menu flur there ensure that the diamond is in the top right corner here it already is but if it wasn't then we would sensor control uh, switch right to ensure that it is so that's good next we need to undesignate our waypoints i don't believe it is designated so that's all fine we're going to go to our situational awareness screen now 
do this. We can see waypoint is there and it's no longer designated, it's no longer ta a target, but we can use it to get our teapot on target. So the next thing we need to do is just get our situation awareness. Where are the... I need to turn around basically. So all I'm going to do now is turn around roughly where the hostiles were. They were that direction there somewhere. And what I can do is actually slew my teapot to the waypoint one, which we know is still in location. You may not have that option, but something I can do this time. So this guy's got the diamond in. We're now going to TDC slew up left, right and down to move it around. And all we've got to do is get it so that that box there gets on our waypoint there. In this case, if you've got a waypoint like I have, otherwise you'd have to find it with other means to get it on waypoint one there. And there are the ships. So I'm gonna now going to put my designating cursor above them. Again, about one to two miles beyond them for the reasons that we, we spoke about earlier. We're then going to press TDC Depress to mark that as a target point. That's now a target point selected. TGP, we now are going to go to our mode, range and bearing launch. Our flight is going to be uh, low again, pop up again. Our seek, again, uh, medium just seems to work fine. That's all I want to change. Check that we're in range, and we are. And we're going to turn right slightly and fire the missile standby. Cap Bruiser. Or a pilot back on. Already is. I'm not sure who my, who's I'm following here. You were ahead of me, or I was I ahead yeah. of you, Cap? A minor coming out on the different axis than yours. Okay, yours has found a target, I'll see, I think. Be interesting, we get yep. proper. Is this on pop up or skim? Pop up. Roger. Hopefully, it should get a little pop up out of this one. We'll see. Maybe not. Oh, there it goes. Maybe. Yeah, it's getting a pop up. This range bearing lord is very early development at the moment, obviously. So sometimes it pops up, sometimes it doesn't. Ba boom boom. Well done. Okay, OBs are coming in from the left flank. Now, regards choosing which target the missiles go for, we've got no control of that, have we, guys? No. No. Just have to choose their own. Roger. Okay, this one's doing... Is this skim or pop-up, OB? Both are on pop-up, they should be. They skim, They did a bit of skimming, and they did a proper terminal skim, and then a pop-up, so... Yours work properly. the same ship. And we have the same ship. Oh, they blew up in oh, the air! Oh, they blew up. <laughs> right, that's a thing. Um, question mark. Where did you put your uh, point, Ovi? Ah, uh, you see, now that will be because I designated the point when we were coming in from the other direction. Okay. So, uh, the point would have been closer to me when I came around right, the side so, of the move. So, they met the point that he targeted before they hit the ship, so they've self-destructed. So, that's the thing. And they always have to go for the same ship. Right guys, so that's showing early function of the range bearing launch mode without radar, so using a T-pod and or using a waypoint designation. And it's actually quite useful. You can spot these these targets 50 plus miles away on a T-pod. Thank you for telling us about that and go and do some serious range and bearing launching. Hope that helps. See you later.